What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So in today's video, we're talking about the news that went live today during News O'Clock. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, we got a version update. Like what? <laughs> this literally came out of the blue. No one was expecting that. I even said today on stream, like I wasn't really expecting any news today at all considering, you know, we've got Treasure Map coming up. Didn't really think we were going to get any information, but we can see here version 9.3 version up notice starting December 16th PST time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and, and looking at that banner, I mean, you can see automatically that, there get, that there's going to be some Chopper Man mission related stuff. And that is a big component of this update. But of course, we're going to get into it, of course. Uh, before we get into that, just want to say, you know, the, the Rayleigh shop tickets are here. They have reset. So you can go over to the Rayleigh's Bazaar. You can purchase a Legend ticket, a Limited Rare Recruit ticket, and three regular Rare Recruit tickets. I wouldn't suggest purchasing any of them aside from the Limited Rare Recruit one. Uh, though, if you have enough Rayleigh points to get it, I would say, you know, make sure to get it, but also have enough in stock to buy other things if you need to, like a Super Evolution Skull, if you ever need to buy one, make sure you got enough Rayleigh points to do so. I think the limited Rare Recruit tickets are worth it because some of those characters you can get are just phenomenal. Uh, myself, personally, I've been getting really good luck with them. I know some people haven't been getting good luck with them. So hopefully if you guys do purchase these, you do get some good luck from those ticket pools. And of course, the brand new Treasure Map Sugo Fest is live. I've uploaded my video already with my Sugo Fest pulls so go ahead and check that out if you haven't done so already and also free rare recruit given out every single day during the treasure map so ensure you log in every day and do your tavern pull every single day remember you cannot stock these up and then do like six pulls at the end you have to do it within each 24 hour period so make sure to log in and uh, and use those free rare recruits but anyways version 9.3.0 is going to be starting on december 16th at 1 30 a.m pst time that's a really late date um, yeah, that is quite late, I think. Yeah, that is kind of late. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go through it. So first of all, added new functions for characters. That is interesting. Uh, we do know that there is going to be another treasure map at the end of December, uh, like around New Year's time. Now, with that, we also have assumed that it, it's likely going to be Vivi and Rebecca, as well as uh, Shirahoshi and Mansherry dual unit. I don't remember if there was an update maintenance for JP for those units. I do not remember, but that could be for those characters or we could be getting some global first units. Either way, added functions for new characters is always an exciting thing to see. The next thing, the return of transponder snails. This, this is an update that so many players have been wishing for for the longest time. And finally, they're going to be reintroduced onto Global, so that is freaking epic. I actually know that JP introduced their brand new campaign event uh, just today as well, and they did mention during their campaign that they've got like a period during a set period of time, you get increased stamina refill chances. So for those of you who don't know what Transponder Snails are, they've been out of the game for like two years. It feels like two years. I don't know exactly what date they were, um, they were taken away. But basically, there's five transponder snails. You can find them by searching through each of the story islands. Sometimes they can be on extra island as well. And when you click on them, you typically would share a tweet. Uh, and then by sharing the tweet, you get a reward for doing that. However, I think that the whole Twitter integration has been removed. So it looks like you just get a reward every single day. Now, that, that reward can range from cola to uh, berries to... I think cotton candy sometimes can be in it. But the big thing is stamina refills. You can get a full stamina refill, which is so good, especially when there's big events on. Having the, having the stamina refill, you know, obviously just saves you a gem from refilling, which is great. And on the off chance, you can very rarely find five rainbow gems. My entire time playing Treasure Cruise, I've only gotten the five rainbow gem reward once from Transponder Snail. So the chance to get it is quite low, but it is very exciting that we are getting that. Next, new features for login bonuses. This is, an, this is another thing that JP have had for a while now. Basically, after you log in for a certain amount of days in a row, you get just like big rewards. Like I think, I think there's like Forbidden Tomes. Uh, I don't remember exactly the rewards, but I know like Forbidden Tomes and other small items like that are just sprinkled along with login bonuses. So that's a pretty nice update and welcomed and this is going to help a lot of players out. So that's really, really nice. The next thing says, auto tap added to treasure map. Now, when I saw this, I was a little bit skeptical as to why this was even a thing. I know some people love this auto tap feature. I mean, coming from a player who's played the game for a long time, and when we initially got this auto tap feature, in theory, it does sound good, but it's awful. 
Auto tap is just poorly executed. I don't really understand why people wanted this so bad in treasure map, honestly. I mean, if you're in East Blue, I guess it could help you out a little bit. But if you're in like Grand Line or even just New World, right, you're not going to be using auto tap. The only time I assume you would ever use it is if you had like treasure map NL set as your captain. This, it's, it's not really a feature that I'm really that excited about, but I mean, if you're excited for it, then, you know, more power to you, I suppose. The next thing says, improved Chopper Man request features. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure what this is about. Um, I do know specifically on JP, they recently had an update with their Chopper Man missions, which uh, altered the rookie quests. And with that means that, you know, there's brand new rookie quests that get introduced and you can complete them and get rewards and stuff like that. So it might be related to that. Also, the daily missions were revamped as well. So as it stands on global right now, you'd have to do three runs of anything, basically. And by doing three runs, you get a free rainbow gem. Uh, I believe how it is on JP right now, in order to get your free Rainbow Gem every single day, you have to spend 100 stamina. Now, I don't know if that could be the thing that's coming out, or maybe it's a brand new Global First um, Chopper Man mission related update. I'm excited to see what it's about, because that's going to obviously be, uh, it's, it's going to have quite an impact on the player base. So we'll see what that's about. Improved item selling at quest results. Now, when I saw this as well, this is another thing I was like, wait, why? Like, I don't know, this is just me, but... Personally, I have never had an issue with selling stuff at the end of a quest, so I don't really understand why they're improving it. I don't know what there is to improve, quite honestly. Maybe you guys in the comment section can let me know, but personally, I found the, the selling at the end of a quest one of the best features that we've ever had. It, it helps so goddamn much. The next thing says shorter loading time during initial downloads. I mean, this is good for newer players getting into the game, but for end game players, doesn't really matter that much. I would just like, you know, faster loading times getting into the game you know just logging in that would be nice uh, obviously it says uh during initial downloads i don't know if that literally means when you initially download the game or does it mean like initial download whereas like when you're logging into the game to download stuff i, I don't really understand either way i hope that it helps out all the player base because the loading times can be frustrating the next thing says improved friend point recruit so what this is about is on jp they also have this update where there is a brand new friend point banner and it enables you to pull fortnite characters and coliseum units from the friend point characters like coliseum kid were added to that pool so literally you could spend your friend points there and get like a couple of copies of different characters which is interesting and you know some of the characters there were actually pretty decent so i guess again that really helps out uh, a lot of the players who um who are relatively new to the game i suppose the next thing here says boost effects category added to the character box sorting uh, I haven't been using the character box sorting feature all that much since its introduction to One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. I typically just opt to use the One Piece Treasure Cruise database anyway, just because um, it's what I'm familiar with. But the feature sorting in-game is actually pretty decent. Uh, and it's nice, you know, if, you, if you're looking for one specific thing, it's nice to just filter through and it's easy to get. But if you're doing like full hardcore team building, the, 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 fe the feature to sort through characters in your box can be cumbersome at times. It's much quicker to do it on the database. But then again, uh, it's still nice that they are still trying to improve it. So that's really good. Uh, other minor fixes, brushed up existing features, and tap here to see more details. So overall, for very minor update for 9.3, but there's actually a lot of content here, you know? So let's go ahead and read more, and they have an infographic for us to just showcase some of the features that are going to be improved with this update. Obviously, the big thing that they're advertising here is the auto tap with a treasure map. Again, I'm not really a big fan of this, and I mean, I don't think too many people will opt to use this unless you're in East Blue. Uh, that's the only situation I could really see people using this. Um, transponder snails are back. Yeah, this is the big thing here. So you, obviously you've got the transponder snail here. You've got gems, stamina refills, and also cola, all accessible from the transponder snail. Find snails on the world map or extra island to try your luck. I'm so looking forward to this. So, so looking forward to this. And then chopper man request missions uh, updated. You've got rookie and daily missions. It looks like those are the two specific ones that are going to be changed. Now, just below that, you can see the merry go has also been powered up. So this is also something that arrived on jp so the original merry go let's actually go to the shipyard and uh and have a look so the shipyard go all the way to the left a very very old ship uh where is it here it is no 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 this one <laughs> the second ship in the game boosts captain hp by 300 and boost your cruise attack by 1.5 times back in the day that this, this ship is the best this ship was the best back in the day however i think the big change that's coming here is that this ship will now make your perfects easier to hit which is kind of nice. Uh, some specific content could use that. 
um, and it's nice to have just a ship that you can run on any team now that will enable you to let your perfects to be hit a lot easier. So that's okay. Uh, it's not the, the most amazing update for the ship, but hey, you know, every little bit counts, I suppose. And then below that, it says the current rookie and daily requests at Chopper Man will no longer be available. So be sure to clear them before the maintenance. So after the maintenance, when the, the revamp happens for these missions, the old ones will be deleted. So if you have not done them yet, I highly suggest to do them, especially those rookie missions. Those rookie missions are crazy. They give you so many rewards, so much EXP. If you have not done them yet, take the time out of your day to go ahead and do them. You'll rank up a bunch and get some really great rewards. After the maintenance, every user will be able to challenge the new rookie requests at Chopper Man. So that's, again, really cool. So with the new requests, we can all log in and do these missions. So I'm excited for that. And hopefully the rewards are really good. I don't know off the top of my head what rewards are actually available here, but I am very excited for it. But that's about it. That's legitimately everything we got uh, regarding the new update. Now, this new update, it says, uh, I believe, is it going to be a maintenance period? Has that been announced yet? Okay, so it's listed here. So it says, as a part of the version 9.3 update, a server maintenance will be happening on December 15th at 1900 PST. And then the update will be finished at 1.30 AM PST. So it's going to be a, what, five, six and a half hour update. So that's pretty long. Um, but the thing is, is that this maintenance period is happening right as the treasure map finishes. Kind of weird that they're doing it like literally so quickly. Uh, I wonder if we're going to get a data download in the next couple of days regarding upcoming banners that are going to be arriving in the tavern because that's something we don't know is going to be happening yet. Like what's coming after the treasure map? We literally have no idea what's happening, especially for Christmas. There should be something coming for Christmas as well. But maybe after this maintenance period with the new update, they'll introduce a massive data download with some new characters. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But that's all the content that we have right now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.